Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. If you plan to upload your publication to the internet as a web page, it will be necessary to convert it or save it as a web page. This will enable some features of Publisher that are web specific and disable others that are print specific. To convert your publication to a web page in Publisher 2000, Select File from the menu bar, and then select Create Website from Current Publication. You will first be asked if you want to save your print version before converting. If you would like to, choose Yes. If you don't care, click No. Once it converts your publication over, Publisher 2000 will ask you if you want to run the design checker. If you want to run the design checker, click Yes. It's not necessary to run it, though, if you're converting a blank page. If you simply just don't want to run the design checker, you can click No. To convert your publication to a web page in Publisher XP, select File from the menu bar, and then select Save as Web Page. This will open the Save dialog box where you need to give your file a name. That's it for Publisher XP. Now let's take a look at Publisher 2003. To convert your publication to a web page here, select File from the menu bar, and then select Convert to Web Publication. You will first be asked if you want to save your print version of your publication before you convert it. If you choose Yes, you will simply be asked for a file name. If you choose No, you'll move on to the next step. When you're ready, click Next. The last step is to choose whether or not you'd like to add a navigation bar. Navigation bars are covered later in the tutorial so we'll choose to not add one now. Once you've made your selection, click Finish. In any version of Publisher, when you convert a publication to a web page, some of the formatting applied may not appear properly as a web page. When you know you will be creating a web page, it is sometimes better to convert a blank document to a web page before designing it, or simply create a new blank publication using the web page format option from the blank publications category of templates. When you are finished creating your web page, you will need to upload it to your server space. For directions on this, contact your web hosting server. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!